you're hungry, you're not gonna let 5,000 feet of mountain get in your way. And if it tries, that's what our lineup of exceptionally capable, available all-wheel drive SUVs is for. After all, we take this pretty seriously. The SUVs and the dinner. Well, it doesn't get any more Americana than this. The Field of Dreams movie site in the barn center court. The American Cornhole Organization Corny 40 Classic Finals are upon us. Philip Barnett, the Mississippi Ninja, alongside of Finn, the loudmouth for the ACO. Buddy, this is going to be a game, but our man Frank Gears has got some business to attend Absolutely. to. Absolutely, and we're, we're going to get this underway right now. Bring it, baby. <laughs> Bring it, baby. Here we go. And Gears launches the uh, finals of the inaugural Corny 40 Classic with the season 18 theme. And I think yeah. that may be our season theme a lot longer than just season 18. Bring it. And that's what our Corny 40 players have done this this uh, week throughout the course of the week. And, of course, today as we work our way toward this final. We have our number one and our number three Corny 40 players Absolutely. squaring off who are here. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, it, we, we always talk about that. Rankings are for a reason yeah. and things like this. Seedings happen for a reason and fighting through everything that Gary has had to fight through from, boy, I'll tell you, windy conditions yeah. outside and the number of times that Caleb has been able to play inside. Mm -hmm. Certainly you would think the early advantage stands with Caleb. Yeah. But, boy, oh, boy, it's almost like each one of them is playing against themselves. And you know what? We started with 26, 28, and 27, and we're down to two. The top two players that oh, came in here ranked. They went into the yeah. corn as boys. They came out of the corn as men, except for Maggie Geiger, who right. went in as There's a young a lady and came, came back out. out as a more delightful yeah. young lady. And I will tell you this. Boom. Oh, How about wait. that? What a shot. And that's uh, – he nails that airmail just to give up the deuce yeah. right there. But uh, well, we saw in the last game, he he, wouldn't, he was going to leave that a no-doubter. He yes. shot two airmails dead center to end that game. Yes, he was. And uh, we've had a lot of fun with these guys. You see these jerseys. It's yeah. the coin of the realm, the top 40 each season. These have the commemorative first ever Go the Distance Cornhole Festival logo on them. Mm -hmm. They've got that Kia logo up there. Our friends from Finn and Kia here in Dubuque and Kia nationwide, worldwide, as a matter of fact, part of the festivities as I enjoy a nice cold Miller Light. I want to make yeah, sure we give all our love. Let's have a one yeah, toast let's right do there little, for the, let's do a little for the, cheers for the weekend, buddy. To there our you friends go. at Miller Light, and uh, I've enjoyed quite a few of those. Thank you to Hampton Farms for making me even thirstier. Yeah, <laughs> I love the peanuts. Absolutely. Thank you, Rex, for helping us out as the bags got piled up. Mm -hmm. Stepped in there. We've yeah. seen the uh, more addressing of that. Typically, you see a rake from the bottom, but we've seen more of this just take that first, that top bag yeah, off of there just to get it out of, there, out of the way. The SVC is in the house. We can see them over there. Indian style on the, yeah. on the hay bales. SVC, Shenandoah Valley Cornhole here, obviously supporting their very own Caleb Hurt, whose brother Isaac, he had to take out of the competition to get here into the finals. To work his way toward the finals, and uh, but the little brother is still sitting over yeah. there amongst the Barger clan and uh, keeping an eye on things here. Oh. So Project 13s in the hands of Caleb Hurt, and those Sidewinders oh, in the nice paw bag. of Gary Bear Paul. Right? How about that? Yeah. Nice bag. Coming in low and hard to collect. Oh, off. and I'm thinking, Gary, don't throw this mm, bag. Yeah, he might want to just walk that one down. Oh. Oh, I told you, don't throw that bag, Gary. <laughs> Even I knew not to throw yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I told him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know much, but I know, I know better than that. <laughs> so uh, he allowed that wash to take place right there, and that would that he gave uh, gave up some points. Yeah, but how about the how about the great uh, great shot by Caleb Hurt to That's get him in really that position? Good. Really good stuff. Yeah. And again. I think that's our third. I think the over-under on smiles from Gary Bearpaw this weekend it's was a, four, and yeah, we're at three. Like, I don't know. I think we're more than that. I took the under. <laughs> He's so intense and so yeah. focused. Again, a world-class horseshoe pitcher, as so many uh, players are that have come out of horseshoes into cornhole. That's going to be a four spot yeah. 
right there as the uh, Sidewinders end up sitting up on top of the J. Boogie Wooden sunroof. Boogie, we miss you. He's uh, typically part of our broadcast team. We had a good time with him at the Worlds. We also have uh, crowned a new or coined a new nickname here for our buddy Justin Duke. I don't know if you picked up on that. Do you know what his new nickname is? Mm. J. Bougie because he's a little bougie, we've been told. So we got J. Boogie <laughs> and J. Bougie now. J. Bougie. <laughs> Look at these guys. I will call him that back home, too, there by the way. But look at the, Now, we talked about this before. Now you can see it right here on your screen. Even though there's a step involved, that arm swing, mm -hmm. you know, you've got that pendulum arm swing and then that release, and it's just so mechanical. Yeah. And they both have just mastered it. They really Absolutely. have. And you know Gary, after the showing that he had in the pro shootout we had in Ohio, Jeffersonville, Ohio, oh, yeah. he would like to redeem himself. Well, and he fought his way through a very yeah, wind, for wind from windier yeah. conditions than we had in Jeffersonville. As a matter of fact, to get back here to center court, so you're exactly right, Phil. He wants to uh, be able to redeem himself with this particular uh, tournament. But, you know, it's interesting, too. I think um, after all is said and done, if the two of them sit down and have a conversation, the over-under on the number of words in that conversation it won't be many. is six, and I'm taking the under on that as well. It won't be many. <laughs> Good game. You two. Done. Yeah. It's great. Right. He's going to pick up two right here, I'm predicting. There you yeah, go. Yeah, he does. And it's funny. He uses he, – he, somehow his bag makes the hole bigger. He, he hits, he finds that lip, and he rolls mm -hmm. it in. And that one, he just touched enough of Caleb. Yeah. I mean, it was out of play anyway, but mm – -hmm. Really interesting how he is able to find a part of the hole that's just going to go ahead and draw the bag into it. So six on two, and he takes that first bag. Does Gary Bear Paul that? And he takes it right where he usually takes it. Right up the middle, yeah. that sidewinder. Ironically, right up the middle. And Caleb, I don't, I don't, Caleb got here, but I don't think he threw his best in a couple of those games. Mm -hmm. But he is really dialed in right yeah, now. Yeah, he really is. Oh, and, and there's an opportunity. Right yeah. up the middle, he's going to be in the is. middle. And ironically, the man who owns the middle is giving up the middle. Oh, and he went for the airmail to try to drive. <laughs> and he hit it. <laughs> he hit it, but he didn't get enough. There wasn't enough there to pull it down, and he's going to offer that middle. Yeah. Caleb says, all right, I'll take it. I'll take those four. Thank you very much. Double digits now on two, mm -hmm. ten on two. And Caleb has come out here doing work, ten to two. Yeah, he really is. He's getting it done. Speaking of doing work. Our buddies uh, OTT over the top, one of our bag yeah. companies that were partnered with us here, IMF, Blueprint Bags. You saw in the last game, Alpha Cornhole, TC Board, 724, those Project 13s that Caleb's throwing right now, Lucky's Bags. He's got uh, some of those. Heil was throwing those earlier today. Pitch Bags, as you see out there in Gary Bear Paul's hand. He's got those Sidewinders, Killer Bees, Basement Bags. Appreciate all of our partners with yeah. regard to uh, being a part of the uh, – inaugural corny 40 classic as part of the go the distance festival yeah. here again you'll be hearing about all those all weekend yeah, tomorrow will. we'll have the doubles using the same format choose your weapon yeah. absolutely what's up reed shook we'll shout out to me the mississippi ninja the mississippi yeah. ninja claude miller tuning in the snowman is back good to see yeah priest on there all right so 10 on four caleb has yielded that uh, that first bag, and Gary takes advantage of that with yeah. exactly what you knew he was going to do. And, okay, and I'll do that, too. And I guess I'll do that, yeah. too. Right down the middle. Oh, oh, nice little block. How about, how about that? All right. Okay, all right. It was a re-block. And this is the part of the game where I think a lot of people, and it took me a minute to get used to this part <laughs> because I always thought, as many do, I would say 95% know that's a hard, hot yeah. bag right there and that, uh, not any anywhere near what he wanted to do with that. Oh, and he didn't get Boy. through there like he did. And look at that smile. Uh, I don't know if that was a smile yeah. or a grimace. The over-under on grimaces was 300, yeah, and I took the over. Yeah. <laughs> he picked up one. He did, he did. And that was a uh, Isaac Hurst uh, fastball right down the yeah. middle. I'm going to call it baseball term right mm -hmm. here because we're in the middle of baseball field of dreams. Yep. Danny Rich tuning in. I hope everything went good with your little procedure, Danny Rich. And he said, what's up, gentlemen? So clearly he's talking to somebody yeah, else. He must be talking we'll to somebody else. Who's able to answer that question. Yeah. 
For sure. This cat all of a sudden has one out of play again. That Gary is definitely mm -hmm. going to take advantage. And there it is. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> You had to made do it, a, didn't you? Made a fool out of me. You had to do it, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. We're going to have to come up with a name for that, too. I might just have to change you from the Mississippi Ninja to just jinx the cat. <laughs> jinx the cat. <laughs> there you go. One of, the, one of the best parts. I have parts had of, my moments. You have. Here, at, like, every, right. at every single major, you've done it to somebody. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> I, you know, I keep waiting for them to walk up behind me and put me like in a sleeper hold or something. And you jinx me back there in Owensboro. Well, they'll do it at the next one because I have to go back and rewatch. <laughs> oh, God. Huh. Do not ever make that call again. Uh, Dennis Lee Stanford, my neighbor, uh, tuning in, buddy. All right, yeah. so Caleb's going to try to redial the middle, and he oh. moves off to the right. He's now, that to, time Gary finishing, but, and I waited till he did. took it. You did. <laughs> oh, oh and that. that's going to give Gary the lead, 11 to 10. That's going to give him those six that yeah. he was – Desperately searching for, so the French Lovely. fries go up on the 10. I love that. Again, like I said, I don't know if that's Brian Jones or who it was. Yeah. It calls him the French fries, but I love that for the 11. And we're tied at 10 to 11. Take a minute to say thanks to Andy, who was the farmer here at the Field of Dreams, who yeah. outfitted us with the uh, corn stalks and the uh, straw bales for our seating today. This room set up exactly how we hoped it would. It looks great. It's a lot of fun to to be in here, and uh, I think everybody, even folks who just kind of wandered in to see what's yeah. going on, who were just here for the Field of Dreams, came in and said, well, this is curious. Yeah. This is unique. This is cool. cool. And I'm going to guarantee you right now, Phil, I guarantee you sometime next Ooh. week during the lunch hour, there's going to be cornhole played right here in this building. I bet you. By the staff yeah, at the Field of Dreams. They're they going to have some <laughs> boards pulled out. Oh, yeah, they got a set. We sent them early oh. in the season. Oh, man, oh, man. Yep. And a when you come back next wash. year, they may make the doubles tournament. Now we may see them in the corny 40. You, you never, never know. You never know. You never know if you think you've got the game. There you go. I gave you the perfect lead in That's right exactly there, Exactly right. That's exactly right. If you think you've got the game, bring it. That's what this is all about. Yes, sir. We've had We've had local people come out trying to. Trying to qualify for the doubles tournament yesterday. Mm -hmm. I think a couple of them actually did. I think we did. I think we yeah. did. What I love, too, is we saw a lot of local participation come in, and they brought their own bags. We said, well, you don't have to. We're providing yeah. the bags. Really? Well, my bags are out in my saddle bags. A lot of motorcycles yeah. rolled up in here to play. It was great. Cool. So I told you, I heard mention when we were doing the interview with uh, Danny? Yeah, Danny. Oh, how about, about that? the soccer nice team, right yeah. There. Yeah, that soccer team staying so, at our hotel. I'll tell you what, first thing they did was get out yeah. and get some bags and start throwing. Well, I, I, I will tell a little secret on that. They're staying at our hotel. They're in they're in town for that tournament, yeah. and uh, they happen to run into our buddy Max Gears, who's here playing music tonight yeah. as well, and uh, he happened to invite them late, late. I think on Thursday night, you should come out. He goes, there's no way they're coming out. Sure enough, their coach a loaded them up bus. on the bus and yeah. brought them out, and they played some corno. I saw the very first girl took her, took a bag, threw it overhand airmail. She was done. <laughs> that was it, overhand airmail. Well, you heard what he said. They had their own little tournament yeah, out they there. Did. So, I mean, that's, that's good stuff. They had a great time. Yeah. As most people do that come to our events. Sure. You know, you, you hear your usual – complaints every now and then the people are going to complain never heard never, one. never going to be happy but 99 percent of the time look oh, at that so he pick he up gonna, a one thought he was going to take it there i've never heard one complaint you know why because i don't listen to yeah them. you don't listen to them, I don't but like, i, I, I don't hear them every now and then oh, no, they you just don't. Do. no such thing never but happens. anyway when you do it, it it the the good by far outweighs yeah. that by far Typically, if you've got a gripe, guess who? Guess who it is? It's you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got a two for one on the French fries. Yeah, we do. We got a double order yeah. of fries up on Absolutely. the board right now, tied eleven. As you like to say, a game now to ten. Game to ten. And Caleb once again has one out of her, uh, out of range, going uh, on his inside arm. You know, and the other beautiful thing we talk about with the, the ACO is we we you know we certainly encourage you to go to AmericanCornhole.com. 
Find a certified official in your area. Find some regionals you can play and Find out how to become a member for just a couple of bucks. You can be part of this and be part of any of the 35 majors or hundreds of regionals that are run around the country. A four spot there for Gary. He's going to bust off of the French fries there and take a 15-11 lead and take that first bag. But, you know, players come and go. Yeah. But what's so great is when they go, uh, somebody more. steps up. Yeah, it's, it's almost more. like a hydra. Yeah. You cut off one head and, and two other heads Absolutely. pop up. And, and two better, it makes room for better players to yeah. roll in. And, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of people that have, that have come and gone and that they really think that they got a lot more going on than they do. Yeah. And the next thing you know, it's like, mm, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe yeah. it was a lot more fun where I was. And, uh, you know, it happens. It happens in Absolutely. every walk of life. It, Work, exactly right. play, yeah. anything. Oh, and he's going to try to give the four back. Yeah, he is. Well, and and Caleb's going to try to take it. Oh, if anybody's look at this. set up the place to take him, oh, he's going to go outside and go hard and low. Oh, oh boy. He much is giving up four. Go. He's going to give up seven. seven. Mm -hmm. And he does. And boy, I how about that? that? Hey, I thought that was a bad mistake. Did you don't see Gary Bearball do? Mm -mm. And he threw that bag very hard, something he, we don't see him mm -hmm. do very often. No, and he throws it harder than, than it looks like he's yeah. throwing it, but it wasn't. Uh, it didn't seem like there was going to be enough from where he was standing yeah. to get that bag and push it. And he risked exactly what happened, and that was going off the board. Chris Humphreys, how about my two riding partners, Russell Tabers and Mark Smothers tuning in on the mm -hmm. live feed. Or my man Dallas Parsley is watching from Absolutely. back down around Greater Cincinnati. I think maybe our oldest member at, uh, mm -hmm. well, he's got to be pushing 60 now. Yeah, I think he's like 38. <laughs> again. Yeah, he's almost, he'll be 39 again. We're going to talk about one of those guitars for me, huh? There you go, yeah. <laughs> oh, and Caleb with a chance there. And Gary decides not to go after that bag. He's just going to take the middle. Yep. Oh, oh boy. And I'll tell you what, he almost got a mm -hmm. hold of it. He almost set the hook. He did. Zach Rutz, Cody Robbins. Again, thanks to everybody uh, involved in our Choose Your Weapon program this uh, this year. Lucky's and 724 TC boards, Alpha Cornhole. It's good stuff. Yeah. Blueprint. Boys from Pitch are watching. We know that for a fact. Burnett and Howe. Oh, yeah. They're Mentioned. probably having a party out of Tim Burnett. No, no question. Uh, His cornhole palace yeah, that he's got absolutely. working out there. Seven twenty four. celebrating a birthday yesterday. That's right. William Howe. Our man William Boom Howe. Yep. Yep. We gave him perhaps uh, maybe the worst birthday song ever in the history of birthday and songs. Killer Bees, thank one. you guys. Basement Bags, nice stuff. Game IMF. One. All right, that's going to do it. All right, game one. Under his belt, and this is not a single elimination. It's a complete and utter elimination yeah. right here because we are fighting for first. And Absolutely. Caleb Hurt, the number one seed coming into the tournament, has that first game under his belt. So, But I will say that was a, a really well-fought battle yeah, there, especially for Gary, you know, having to spend so much time outside in the elements playing and getting mm -hmm. used to what's going on here inside the barn and again inside the barn the field of dreams movie site you want to come out and spend the night you can spend the night in the farmhouse in the movie let's bring your wallet yeah bring yeah, your wallet bring or wallet. come out here and yeah, win this tournament that's part of this tournament that's part of the prize pack but they say it's well worth whatever you spend well i would tell you too when you come out here wake up in the morning grab your coffee and go out and sit in that front porch swing yeah and when it's just you and the world mm -hmm. it's it's magical it's there's really something magic about it to nothing gary j gonna jump out there to a early lead that i'm certain that we will see addressed to to sweet as they say mm -hmm. with one under his belt already caleb's in the driver's seat but boy i'll tell you gary i mean with regard to the methodical nature of right, that right there and he don't throw the prettiest bag in the world mm -mm. it's not that flat rotating bag but Mm -mm. It goes where it's supposed to go. And we've talked about that. You know, certain players don't have the prettiest bag, but they know how to put it where it belongs. Right. And you that's know, all, does it and really that's matter? All that matters. I mean, you're looking at if you took his bag and put all the science on it, mm -hmm. then you've got Caleb's bag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the same. They, they have accomplished the same thing two completely oh. different ways. As a matter of fact, uh, Gary just overachieved mm -hmm. with regard to that one, putting one off the back there. So he's yeah. going to go ahead and Glad add three a little more. three to the total. 
But and yeah. it's best of three. You know, we, we talk about going to Linda Oglesby. She looks like she's going to fall on her face every time. <laughs> but she knows where the bag's going. It's going down the side. Oh, yeah. There's some people that look like every yeah. single time they throw the bag, they're going to need to be put in a body cast. <laughs> but somehow it makes it there, and they get it done. And that's oh, what makes it fun. There's so absolutely. many different ways to get it done. I mean, if, if everybody did the exact same thing, the, you know, it would it would make it really boring for well, us. You, you, know? Know, and you know, it's funny, too. I, I'm always looking for different uh, – Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. That's a big, as you like to call it, pile of mess. Pile of mess. Oh, and Gary didn't even touch the pile of mm-hmm. mess. I like to equate where I can to other sports. And Nice. You know, you walk out and you, you, you step up onto the first tee at a golf course and you step up at Charles Barkley with that yeah. swing, you're going to be there for 12 hours. Absolutely. You step up to this with somebody that's got a crazy – some kind of crazy ass swing or whatever and yeah. they can't and they can't get it. you're gonna be there for about three minutes absolutely, <laughs> so absolutely. at least if you're up against it until that yeah. that uh that uh way to swing that arm or whatever it is how you deliver that bag gets gets to where it needs to be you don't have to worry about spending the whole day contending with it yeah, you know some players throw the bag and it cuts one way and mm-hmm. it cuts the other way it's just everything's different in this game mm-hmm. and the technology as, yeah. as ridiculous as it might sound is Really unbelievable with the bag fill, the different shapes of the yeah. pellets, the different things that you do. All of the bags that we used in the qualifiers out front the yesterday and today, each of them had one kernel of Field of Dreams oh, yeah. corn in them, just as a uh, just as a little memento. That's so cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Gary oh, with a boy, chance to that extend that lead. Get out of here. Why, why do you think that happened? I don't know. Go back and watch every single every match game. we've ever called, and you'll know why. <laughs> that last bag blues is what I'm going to call I'm it. I'm you what, especially for a guy that owns the middle yeah. the way he does, when it's, it's wide crazy. open like that, to not take it. I just – I'm amazed at the shots they make, but I think I'm more amazed at the shots that they don't. It's just not him. Mm-hmm. It's every player. Mm-hmm. Now, the, the percentage for average players to good players is probably a little lower that they do that, but, mm-hmm. you know, it happens. You know, it's interesting you talk about percentages, and there's all these PPR measurements, points yeah. per round and mm-hmm. points PPF, points per frame, and all these different things. But to be honest with you, that's all great. But it, only if you can use it and apply it when you need to. You can have the greatest PPR, but yeah. if you don't know when to – if it doesn't Absolutely. happen when it needs to happen, yeah. what difference does it make? Yeah, shame for it. Well, how about our partner, Stacy Van Gilder, yes. pulling for Bear Paul? That's our co-ed her partner. Her co-ed partner, that's right. Yeah, Money Mike. With Money Mike's a little late checking in. I thought, for, I thought for a fact he'd be in on game one. Uh, he must be out doing – he's, he he's probably out of the casino. He's probably out of the casino just rocking and rolling. Yeah, making that money. Mm-hmm. Got to get that Cougar Joe. She needs a new necklace. Yeah. All right. It's a nice, nice little bang. push and follow right there. Gary's going to take the middle. Yep. Yeah. Thank you very much. And, again, this is the final match here on center court for our Corny 40 Classic, the inaugural part of the Go the Distance Festival. It's been nice. a great week so far and a great day tomorrow. We're going to have the doubles championships here on center court. We're going to be competing throughout the course of the day. Now, we are going to be running up against a little bit of weather. Uh, it does look like so that's going to be an interesting challenge but you know what this game was born outside so we'll see what happens we'll make it work yeah. somehow maybe bring a change of clothes or we're going to have an unintentional yeah. wet t-shirt contest out here but i'll tell you what we will get her done as my buddy dan there likes you to say you know him as larry yeah how about your man Paul Schrader, the Shredder? The Shredder's checking on. in. Checking in. It's World Doubles Seniors Champion mm-hmm. this year. Wrapping up. He's putting a, probably the wraps up on the summer of Paul this summer. He was uh, yeah. all about the summer of Paul, and now he's got, uh, I guess, Labor Day puts a close on it, but I'm going to guess he's going to give it a little extension. What the heck is he going to do for the winter? The, the winter of Paul. <laughs> the winter is coming, my friend. He'll be the king of the north or the king of the south. Yeah. All right, so an eight-bagger there as these guys collect their weaponry. Seven to two, Gary Bearpaw looking to even things out here and go to a game three to try to take this inaugural Corny 40 Classic final. Grabs that bag, gives it a little bit of a toss in his hand. He right delivers it. He doesn't have any special grip. He just lets it go. Yeah. Doesn't do that butterfly. He just holds mm-hmm. it. He almost holds it thing like you would hold a horseshoe. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's exactly what it is. And he 
just pushed it back and a see, little now you watch, closer. As I mentioned, you watch Caleb when he's got these last two bags. Flip, 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 flip flippity, flip, flip. And there it goes. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, you got a clean slate there, bud. And I think yeah, I'll go ahead go. and wrap it around a corner of the hole and bring it in. There and nicely go. done. A little eight bagger there. Seven on two. Remains the score. Gary holds that first bag. Trying to even things up. Yeah. He's got to, or he he's eliminated. Mm-hmm. So best two out of three. Caleb took the first game. Yeah, they uh, reset the scoreboard so quickly. I never even <laughs> saw the final. It was twenty-one something, as yeah. we guess. <laughs> you guys are good guess, man. Since we don't go past twenty-one. Oh, uh, it's good to see Shane Fretwell, as you mentioned, yeah. and uh, hopefully he and Amber and the family are having a great Saturday night. Maybe able to check us out here. You can also watch Ooh. again in high def on the uh, embedded in the AmericanCornhole.com homepage on the website. Boy, he's got a little bit of work to do here, yeah. this Gary. Oh, he's coming in low and hot, and he oh, always collects. Oh, that's okay. That's not bad. Collects a couple. But how about Caleb? He knows exactly yeah. where to put that. Played it off his bag on the right. Grabs two points. May yeah. score seven to four. That might have been the that might have been the key shot for Gary yeah. right there to not leave all that sitting Absolutely. up there, not have to shoot it to to take the risk. Scott Mitchell. Yeah, we're missing Mitchell this week. His uh, whole fam Damley is out here, and it's uh, surprising that he didn't come out to join us. This strikes me as his exact yeah, kind of vibe. Yeah, it'd be perfect for him. He'd have that live camera going 90 to nothing oh, yeah. out here. Amber Fretwell speaking out to us. We're doing great, Amber. We're in a little slice of heaven out here. Is this heaven? No, nope. yeah. it's Iowa. There you go. I want to tell you, we've had some great moments with uh, different family members here who have been here. And uh, last night, just hitting around out on the field and just during the sunset, it just you, you oh. just it, there's no place like it. There really isn't. Yeah. And uh, we've been fortunate to build this nice partnership with Dan Evans and his team out here, and they've just been fantastic. I mean, uh, all the way through security. I mean, Amy and Brittany heading security up, and they and they're running it for MLB when they're here, Major League Baseball. They're kind of keeping an eye on things and whoever's staying in the house and. They have been fantastic to work with. In fact, Amy has been uh, so taken with the ACO, even though she hadn't played with us, says she's getting that tattoo, becoming a lifer. There you go. Love it. We're almost at the 100 mark. We're going to have to get gears, and I do believe we have uh, some branding to do as well yeah. before all is said and done. Who was that getting branded? Was that Mr. <laughs> Our Man in the Truck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> somebody that just told me I was number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, nice. Yes. Nice bag right there. He needed that one. No, oh, look, look at that. that. Tumble dry. And here's he's gonna try to drag up that and bag over. In front. Oh, nice. and he, that's a nice bag, but there was nothing really to grab. Uh, oh, and it's just gonna be a wash with oh, those great shots. All those great shots. Yeah. And nothing. All those great shots. And eh, I guess it's not nothing. nothing. Sometimes I mean, nothing yeah. is something. Something is good. Might be a little in on purpose block, but the way his body language acts, I don't think so. Look at yep. that bully. Yep. And if you're just bully joining bang. us, Caleb did take game number one in a best two or three right here as he steps outside and comes in low and hot to uh, try to collect. But he, uh, and based the, on what Gary did, he wasn't able to get that bag. The newness of the bags, too. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of an angle yeah. there, but he wasn't even going to try for it. He's just happy to take that middle. My buddy there. Rob Thompson in here. So they're just happy to use that as a backboard and take what they can get there. So the deuce there on Bear Paws Ledger, he's going to add that to the uh, seven. So nine on six is going to be where we stand as he tries to even things out and move to a game three. Yeah, uh, the Casey's mentioned and they heard a saying one time, build it and they will come. And you know what's interesting? If you pay attention to the movie, and I asked one of the ghost players here, uh, when I was talking with him, right. I'm starting to worry about you a little if bit. I'm not, sometimes. Well, okay. one of the one of those okay. who runs the house tours. Okay, and he's a real you. person in a ghost player uniform. Sorry okay. about that. There you go. <laughs> but I said, now isn't the phrase "build it and he will come"? He said it is when he's talking about his dad, or he's talking about the uh, shoeless mm -hmm. Joe, or whatever. But 
later on, they there is build it and they will yeah, come. And I think because that might be one of the most misquoted lines in mm -hmm. all of movie them if that were the case. But it is build it and they will come. Yeah. We built it, they came, and they're gonna continue to show up here year in and year out, eleven on six as Gary Bearpaw continues to work his way to a, hopefully a twenty one point victory here yeah. to even things out in the second of what could be three games, at least hopefully with regard to he and his contingent. And they're going to continue to build, too, in this thing, as we you talked about earlier, you and I did. Is they're going to build some other uh, little league fields. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. a little league game going on out yeah. on the field right now. Absolutely. I don't know if you saw it. Max is out singing back behind us. Max Gears, international yeah. recording superstar. Probably nice get flagged band. for his music popping up in our video. <laughs> <laughs> I was I can only laugh at that, man. Take a minute, yeah, to thank uh, everybody who partnered up with us for this, but not the least of which is our friends from Hampton Farms who've been part yeah. of the last few seasons with the ACO. Looking forward to season 18 with them. Oh, coming in hard. Oh, oh this he split another. the uprights right there. Sure did. Does this have the makings of a senior's shootout? Oh, right it there? really does. It, yeah. really, it really does. And I think, uh, you know, we want to thank our friends from Miller Light and Coors Light and a Gee, handful of folks, I think, trying that Vizzy. Uh, they seem to be digging that new hard seltzer. And there was um, that line in Kugel Summer Shandy. It's just that last gasp of summer. Yeah. It bums me out a lot of times in the middle mm -hmm. of the summer. I'm already starting to see Oktoberfest. Beer. Well, it doesn't bum me out, but it makes me think, yeah. oh, God, Christmas songs are coming soon. Oh, yeah. I still want a little bit of summer, so that Summer Shandy is good to have in hand as well. And, and I have. <laughs> at, at my house, the, the TV had Christmas in July going on. What are you oh, talking yeah, about? Yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> the grocery store had out a huge Halloween. Oh, toll. wow. What the? And that's the danger of stepping out. And look, mm -hmm. Caleb, oh. and hey, you do that, young man, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take advantage mm -hmm. of you. Airmail and a double bag drag, yeah. one of each. He's just going to come in up top. Oh, oh and he tried long. it. He did try it, and after mm -hmm. all of that, the penny goes yeah. to Bear Paul, Bear Paul. To, you know, and he just uh, he just exhaled on his yeah. way. He took those took those first couple steps. Yeah, but you just do not see Gary mm -hmm. Bear Paul. You don't see Bob Howe do that, but we saw it earlier today. You don't see that very often out of the players of this caliber. But like we were explaining there at, at the Worlds, you know, when you step out there, you you take away yeah. some of your pitch lane, and you just have a like a three, four, five-inch window to well, put, put the bag in and, and to when, keep it on the board. When 98% of your game yeah. is here to here, and mm -hmm. then you step out to here, you've, yeah. Yeah, you've changed your Absolutely. launch angle, you've changed everything. We're talking about physics again over mm -hmm. here, Finn. Yeah, somebody stop me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too. That did I, not major in that. Because i got to be honest with you, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that bag, I thought he was going to get the other one. See, Caleb can get around, grab two. No, but he just, he's going to grab right. two. All right, nicely done. The taters are exchanged. They work their way back down to the eastern yeah. side of the uh, center court here. Caleb goes ahead and adds a couple. Yeah, Andy, you're exactly right. Build it and he will come. But there is yeah. a build it and they will come later in the yeah, movie, absolutely. I think. Now, when Karen, the daughter, says, yeah, the people will come, people will come, I think maybe that's the implication. Yeah. Yep. No, I'll Gary's tell you what. He's got the, one out of play again, and that's going to be a, another opportunity. Oh, but he that. pushed Gary, Gary's back in there. Oh, watch this hard back right here. Here it comes. Yep. This thing's going to come out of a rocket launcher. Oh, oh what a shot. Oh. How about that? Oh, oh, and he's got room to get in there again, I think. Yeah. He's going to come in low and hard. Oh, oh. boy. I thought, he, I thought he might go yeah. back with the slick sides fin right there. Oh, he gave Gary uh, a break uh, that uh, just wouldn't fall. Oh, no, it just wouldn't four, fall. And it is 12 to 12. Oh, 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 how about that? Yeah. And that is uh, the proverbial laundry basket. That's exactly right. Mm. And you're right. Um, and, and part of it, if you're watching, you're thinking, well, why, why are these bags performing differently than we normally see? It's because of this Choose Your Weapon program. All of these manufacturers sent new bags. Mm -hmm. So – while these guys are playing with bags they've become accustomed to playing with, they're not playing with the exact bag. So they're yeah. working them in as they go, and they're not performing 
the same, but that's okay because I like this OG way of yeah. doing it. I mean, you're working. You, you, we'll find out just how good you are at adapting to your circumstances. Absolutely. And, you know, we used to go to tournaments, and we had one type of bag, and that's it was furnished by the ACO, and that's what you played. And sometimes they came out brand new. Mm -hmm. Yep. Eric can attest to that when he, you know, he used to be a pro. He's already told me, our man Oz, Eric Heinerman, behind the scenes, he said he's going back to get his pro status this coming season. Uh-oh. He busted out the classic jersey I from 10 years that. ago. How about that? Haven't seen one of those. Well, I've never seen one of those except for his. Someone said his wife had been using it for pajamas. He had to get it off of her. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that was the way the story went. <laughs> I, think, I think there was a little more nuance to it. <laughs> <laughs> I did get a laugh out of him, though. Mm. He's had a, a long day. Mm -hmm. uh, nice bag by Caleb Burke. All right, there it is. He's bringing it up now. That's very well done right there. Caleb got a couple out of play, so he does the best he can do there. He turns 14 into yeah. 16, 17, 18, does Gary. Yeah, and we might and get around two here. This, but I'm not counting Mr. Caleb out. Nice sportsmanship there by Mr. Caleb Hart. And if you're just joining us here, center court is in the barn here on the movie site for the Field of Dreams as yeah. part of the Pro Series. And actually, it's just kind of an offshoot of our Pro Series. It's a Corny 40 Classic, but... Mm -hmm. Caleb Hurt took game number one, and this the final for the Corny 40 Classic. Gary is working his way to move it to a game three. And we've got a bunch of these pro series coming up this year, Finn. Yes, we do. And I are going to be part of, probably. All over the country. All over the country as our travel is just starting up. 35 different majors, 10 yeah. of which will be pro series designations. Yeah. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you, if you live in any of these areas and you want to be part of them, all you got to do is check out AmericanCornhole.com, mm -hmm. and you'll find that schedule. And you can just figure out where you want to join us. We'd love to have you along for the ride. It's always fun to meet new people. Like I said, new names, new games. That's always what it's all about for Absolutely. us. And, you, and you, we're going east, west, north, and oh. south. Yeah, I are. mean, we're going everywhere. Yeah, we are. And he's just added a couple more. We're looking at Southern California, yeah. Ontario, California. We're looking at uh, we're Oregon. Oregon, Idaho. I believe so. I believe Idaho is part of that list as well. Dallas says we need to bring back the old 450 bags field. And that's what you used to beat my brains in with mm. there, Mr. Barkley. <laughs> I think that's why. <laughs> he feels like a brain beat yeah. is due. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Thank you, Mr. Miller, for that comment. We're having a good time. Hope we're making it entertaining for you <laughs> as we watch bags flying home. Well, you know what we do? We sit here at the bar and we talk yeah, about a game the, like you'd be talking about it if you were that's watching right. it. Because these guys are doing all the hard Absolutely. work. Absolutely. They're doing the work and uh -huh. we're just doing the, the fun part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we got more coming. And every once in a while we pretend like we know what we're talking about and then these guys show us now we still got a lot that to we learn. we don't. Yeah, we got a lot to learn. I'll tell you, the service here just keeps getting better Absolutely. and better. The waitress is looking good, too. <laughs> uh, server. Yeah, that's they it, service. They prefer to be called servers. <laughs> All right, so these guys, yeah. 18 on 14. Gary's still working his way toward yeah. uh, hopefully what is a game three and a final, which wouldn't surprise me at all. We've had game Absolutely. threes throughout the course of the day. Let's see if Caleb goes and shoots this one and try not to give up, too. No. no. But this could put Gary on 20. And yes, sir. it does. All right, so as we talk about uh, Season 18, now we, we wrapped up the last week of July and Branson, Season 17. Normally we take August off, but guess what we decided to do instead? <laughs> season 18 starts. Now we, we've taken a little bit of time next weekend. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm, I'm heading to Louisiana. Lake Charles. Yes, sir. Yep, that's when it starts, Season 18, the Bring It season. And then we'll be in Charleston for uh, the first of the Pro Series, 10 Pro Series events. Out of 35 majors, Fort Wayne, Enid, Oklahoma, Manassas, Virginia, Watertown, South Dakota. I mean, you thought all the noise came from Sturgis, South Dakota yeah. on the west side. 
we're bringing the rumble and the thunder to the east side right there, Caleb. How about we, how about we answering to the Alabama players? Mm -hmm. We're going to Mobile, Alabama. Back to Mobile, going yeah. back to Tupelo. And Kerry can finish this game off, and we're fixing to go into game three, and you're going to get to enjoy us. Oh, oh, oh. well, no. I take that All right. back. All right, come here. Somebody get me a staple gun. <laughs> Man. Somebody get me a staple gun. There it is. Just a uh, wash, and Gary with a chance to put that. And let's hope that don't come back to home, Gary, because he had that game one yeah, right keep there. Keep on talking, Phil. <laughs> I just like to point out that's Philip Philip Barnett saying all of those things. <laughs> oh, we did a Blake Shelton over here. <laughs> uh, How about Panama? Jack Harcrow? We missed you here, Mr. Harcrow. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We're gonna be in Panama City Beach again. Yeah. South Bend, Idaho. Major is going to be in Pocatello, Idaho. <laughs> Where the heck is Pocatello, Idaho? In Idaho. Yeah. Concord Major, Owensboro, Beloit, Knoxville, Bradenton, Florida. Yeah, we'll be there again. Medford, Oregon, we mentioned that. That's going to be all over. All over York, the Pennsylvania, States. Augusta, Georgia, yeah. Bentonville, Arkansas. College Station, Texas, that'll be a pro series. Ann Arbor. Cedar Rapids, Dodge City, Grand Traverse, and Grand Traverse, Michigan. Oh, and now Caleb could make this a 20 to 18 game. And he, and does. he does. Oh, boy. 20 to 18, uh, and Mr. Bear <laughs> Paul could be sweating about not finishing uh, it off. Might be. He might be glistening. Yeah. I don't know if he's in a full sweat, but I think there's a glisten to be sure. Absolutely. Happy Valley, Pennsylvania. Here we come. Florida, Winter Haven, Florida. Branson will be back, and then the World Championships. Money Mike will tell you as soon as oh, it comes time there, to tell there, you. There's Caleb. Give him another chance. Mm -hmm. This should do it. This should be this should be what he needs to get off that twenty yeah. mark. Yeah, this is gonna do and it. And if right. that wasn't it, that, that was, was it. it. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you it's not gonna happen what happened last round. I will bet on that one. There mm -hmm. you go. It's game over. That's going to be it right there. Oh, and he's just going to show off one final one right there. And then Gary says, all right, well, you know what? We're going to take is. it. 21 on 18. Gary Bear Paul works his way back and now forces the rubber match. It's going to be as we would expect. Absolutely. Two guys that are very methodical about the way yep. that they pitch and the way that they play. They're going to – we need to reset the scoreboard when they get down there, and then we'll get them going here on – We we'll got it on this end. All right, look at us. We can do yeah, everything. Man, we we can do things it. from places we aren't even – in. Look sit, at us go. Sit back and grab yourself a beer. We're in for yeah. another one. I'm going to get, hang on for a second. Hang yeah. on. Anybody, anybody seen my Miller Lite? <laughs> I heard it. There it is. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, nice shot. Okay, I'm going to play aggressive. No, that's great. There it great is. bag right there. I hope you don't do what you did to me last year, Finn. What's that? Well, I went to Florida. To Bradenton, Florida, for the major, we, we did. Oh, all I that stole your. That's right. I took your Borat suit. No, not that. You, <laughs> you, you brought the cold weather there. It's I the did. coldest day they ever I had did. in Tampa, Florida. I, did. <laughs> I blame that you're, on you. You're welcome. <laughs> Dude, I went down there to scout the location during the hurricane, and it, it rolled right up, and it sat on us for two days, and it didn't leave till I left. I knew it was you. Mm-hmm. You have that dark cloud hanging over you. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> Mike Fox tuning in watching his SBC players play. <laughs> Jonathan Weekly uh, pulling for Caleb Hope. All right, so these guys got a couple of eggs to crack yeah. to see who is the first to do that. There's that. Uh, I swear I'd laugh every time to myself, I think, when I watch Caleb flip those two final bags that he's holding. I'm like, is yeah. he going to throw it with nice. his other hand? Let's see if he shoots the airmail here. The Heinerman's in the truck, and no. he pointed out to me he's watching the camera feed, and he looked, he looked up, and he saw Becky and stopped watching and was looking out the window at the <laughs> Little League game out on the field. <laughs> Caleb's mom. Yeah. All right, that first couple breaks the uh, goose egg on the side of Gary Bearpaw, who evened this thing out. It's a best two or three. Each of them have a game in their pocket, and this is going to determine it. I say all the marbles, but there's way more than marbles on the yeah. line for this one. Jeb Thomas, the ACO, is stacked with talent, and that is not a lie, sir. I'll tell you what. Uh, I mean, this field is loaded. The, every field now you go to is loaded. You better bring your A game if you want to compete. We play second to none. Mm -hmm. Good statement there, sir. What's interesting is 
They always say imitation is the highest form yeah. of flattery. Not always. Not always. You're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice oh. bag. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, they're going to fall. I'm telling you right now. If somebody yeah. breathes hard or sneezes over there, those oh, are going to they just down. fell. Yeah. <laughs> right in, somebody right in, sneezed. Right in Gary's back swing. <laughs> Oh, and he's going to step out again. Yeah. We saw him do this earlier and skip off the back. Oh, yeah, but that time he makes the shot. There it is. Yeah. And we got another smile out of Gary. Yeah. I'm looking over here, and I see his better half, Anita. Yeah. She's over there. She's just very stoic. Just like him. Off by herself, <laughs> yeah. She's I would imagine the economy of words in that household is pretty significant. <laughs> Did you get groceries? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Angie, good to have you uh, along. Your daughter is a uh, is a gem. She's yes, great. She is one of my faves. Yep. Although her taste in her taste in snack food <laughs> leaves a little to be desired, but you know, circus peanuts are what they are. It's a southern thing. Mm, yeah. <laughs> that and boiled peanuts. Yeah. I lived in Georgia. I could not get used to that at oh, all. Oh man, if you've never eaten boiled peanuts, mm -hmm. you eat the shell and all. Man, I eat the be shell perfect. of the salted shell peanut, hard shell. But yeah, I will not boiled peanuts. Don't do it. <laughs> I've thrown. I have done this. I've thrown salt. Thrown salted peanuts in a coke. That's a southern oh, thing. Oh man, if you don't do that, you, you are. You got to be southern to do that. Mm -hmm. Dr Pepper is what you put that. Put in. it in Dr Pepper. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I didn't know that. I did not receive that prescription. Nick Garner? Look at How this. about Jeremy Hankins tuning in? Those guys, all those bags all look like they were sewn together up there to keep them out of the hole. The Grasshopper, one of the up-and-coming stars of this game, is mm -hmm. tuning in. I went back and watched the, the junior oh, doubles, man. Oh, my goodness, yeah. what a match that was. That was something. Yeah, some of the shots made in that was just, like, unbelievable. I hope they add that to our repertoire. No, nope. yeah. come on now, breaking out the French. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, I'm I'm afraid these guys both get dialed in. We'll yeah. be here until tomorrow. We could be. Bring us breakfast when, it, when that when that doubles tournament breaks out. A beer and a biscuit. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. So he, yeah. Caleb hangs one up there, and he's going to yeah. donate. Yeah, two. A dude. couple to the cause there for Gary. Gary again, who had to tie it up after Caleb yeah. took game one of these three. This is the final of the Corny Forty Classic right here on the line. A all expenses paid trip back here to the Field of Dreams, where you have the house for the night. You've got the field for the night. What a great place for a family reunion, or just a. An opportunity to get out and just reset your blood pressure. Yeah. Nice. The rule on the stamp bags, and I'm going to try to attempt to address this. Good okay? luck. All right, so. I'll help you out if I can. The rule is all the pro series will be stamped ACO bags. That is correct. I understand are, no. no stamp bags are still going to be good this year. Am I correct? With no stamps. Yes. You will use ACO stamp bags in the pro series on center court. There will be no stamp ACO stamp or marked out. There you go. On center court for the regular majors. There you go. Perfect. Now, that if, said. If that answers your question. That said, the concern was, okay, well, how many bags are going to be stamped by the different manufacturers for the ACO? What is it, one or two? It's 46. 46. There so 46, if you can't find a bag out of that. Yeah, that's on you. <laughs> really? And uh, to be honest with you, the eight that have uh, shown up here for the Choose Your Weapon program have made a lot of headway with a Absolutely. lot of players. And uh, we have so many more. We've got so many creative Designs and, yeah. and 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 uh, and lines of bags just over these 46. And go to AmericanCornhole.com. You can find them all. And again, if you can't find a bag that you like to throw as well or better than any that you might have stamped otherwise, that's on you because they are out there. Nice, nice bag. Oh, and that's a rare miss. He's nailed those air mills. And that's the same get around bag, little little left. Here he stays in tight to the board here. Yeah, he's going up and over again. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, and then he, the worst case scenario. Yeah, hey. if you had given him a pen and said, write down what you don't want to do. That's right. That was it right there, and that puts uh, Caleb on top. Now six on four. Again, game three. Yeah. The 724s in Caleb's hand. Project 13s. Those are the ones that he was more comfortable playing with earlier, but yeah. uh, he was able to he, grab a new set and take his brother Isaac down earlier to make it to the. He did switch back to the ones he started the day with. He did. He did. Yeah. yeah. 
and they were be they were in use. They had been chosen Absolutely. as weapons by another yeah. corny forty player, so he had to adapt and overcome, which is what he did. Gary's got those uh, pitch sidewinders in his hand. Yeah, Tim Barnett, William Howe. Renee Schindler is checking us out from yeah, Germany, absolutely. my man. Absolutely. What's up, Renee? He had a big he had a big uh, cornhole weekend, and we were glad to have had he and his team out for the uh, Vegas World Championships a couple years ago. Looking forward to getting you guys back into the states. Bring that German contingent. Yeah. Let's bring another friendship flag, and let's do it. We'll we'll make our own, and we'll exchange them. I had to play this. I had time. the pleasure of playing one of those guys. Yeah. I don't I really remember his name, but I did get to play one of those in the singles. Well, Renee was sort of the. Uh, the team leader yeah. of that group and uh oh i had them all around there and i could not oh, understand yeah. one word they were saying <laughs> yeah, that's how they wanted it they <laughs> want to make sure that they were communicating your strategy without you knowing about it <laughs> i have no idea if they were cussing me or praising me or I, what i'm so, pretty sure i know yeah me too <laughs> usually comes from everywhere <laughs> all right so gary lines up lays it up the middle all righty then there we go <laughs> We have a game. There it is. A game to 15. Here's is the crazy thing. I think by the time this game's over, this corn, these corn stalks that have been put in here might yeah, actually take root and start growing. We can go throw some of that on the grill. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, we cannot. I was told very, 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 do very not specifically, put it on the grill. do not eat this as feed corn. And that's not feeding you it's and me. It's different, yeah. Huh? Yeah, that is not to feed you and me. Well, as long as we go sometimes. <laughs> well, uh, that feed corn may start looking good. <laughs> and, and, and that said, uh, on the number of times that we have appeared to be livestock, uh, possibly. What would you say about your Miller Lite, Amigo? Oh, yeah. I have that, was that it? I, I recognize that sound. <laughs> that sounded just like it, didn't it? All right. Gary's got an opportunity here. Is he going to try to stay low? Come to the right? No. Oh, boy, I tell you, that. Uh, that bag is not out of play, though. No, but I'm I'm, I'm surprised he did that. I would have thought yeah. that maybe with that right side open, yeah, he just gave him that opportunity to do that. Now he's got to kind of get a two for one. No, oh, no, oh, get it done. And that's that's the newness of the bag. I would have thought he would have gone up and over yeah. on that one before. Oh, oh boy, look at that. So he close. played that right off of his bag. Yeah. The only place he could put it without putting Bear Paul's yeah. bag in. And almost close enough to drag it in behind just to spin it around. And Gary right down the center, as always. He is such a pleasure. He, he, he doesn't change his, mm -hmm. his, his mannerisms. Mm -mm. And everything is the exact same. It's just, you can film him today, and you can film him in the next tournament that you see, and it's going to be just alike. Well, and again, a lot of times we'll do a post-match interview. Mm hmm I don't, I don't think that's necessary, after, no matter who wins this no, one. No. Because, hey, congratulations. Thank you. All right, hey, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Caleb has gotten a little better. I'll have to give him that. He's gotten a little bit better. No, he's good. And I think I think uh, getting that little bit of a push from Isaac, too, as far yeah. as those two banging on each other a little bit, it's a lot of fun. That's maybe that, who we'll interview. What a great – yeah, we'll interview Isaac. Isaac. No matter who wins, we'll interview Absolutely. Isaac. He's sitting over there amongst the uh, Barger contingent. Who really busted on the scene in the last 18 Absolutely. months? That's a nice bag to get yeah. started there. Eight on six. Gary Bearpaw continues to hold a slight advantage over Caleb Hurt. Each of them have one game under the belt, nice. so this is the one that will be the difference maker and the one that determines who we crown as champion in our first ever, the inaugural Corny 40 Classic as part of the Go the Distance Festival here. And we are, yes, at the Field of Dreams movie site. That's nicely. Put together, there's going to have to be a little drag, yeah. I think, eventually here underneath. Or a, uh, a rake, I'm sorry. I think it, it oh, actually it went in. out to the side. And, and, oh, and there it is. When and he pulls it, one. he pulls it there to the left. Go. Take that, too. And that's that last bag jitters, the last bag blues. Renee, look forward to watching and hearing you. We're glad to have you on board, buddy. we got to yes, see sir. you soon. Bring, it, bring everybody this way. Maybe we can figure out a way to come that way. We've... Had the opportunity to play with players from Australia, Canada, mm -hmm. Germany. We've got uh, CEOs working up, I think, over in Hong Kong. Yeah. We've got a, 
a handful of others around the world. We're just tying it all together, baby. That's what we do. Absolutely. I could just see me and you in Hong Kong. Oh, absolutely. Well, I, I guarantee you what that. would happen. We'd be in sumo suits in no time. <laughs> not suits. I don't want to say We'd what I want to say. We'd be facing each other. Oh, yeah. I'd be throwing salt around, and that would be it. <laughs> uh, Doug Parker. Yeah. Our boy Douglas Parker. Good to have yeah, you on board OTT there, brother. OTT signee. Mm-hmm. You know, OTT is one of the bags here this weekend. Yeah, you know me. Yep. Oh boy, he got one under. He got one underneath. Yeah. I don't know if he knows it's down there. Uh, yeah, Caleb's I think, looking I don't to think see. Caleb knows either. Yeah, he stopped in uh, mid swing. Mm -hmm. He wants to go take a look. I don't blame him. Yeah, this this is a big game. Yeah, I don't think they. I don't think they no. know that one's underneath. Here he goes down. Said, "Thank you. I see uh -huh, it now." <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, thanks for the timeout, yeah, Caleb. Absolutely. I appreciate you. Now I can feel a little better about this. Two timeouts per game. Yep. Is the uh, is the rule? Yeah, we wish you could have been here too, Mr. Parker. Oh, uh, there you oh. go, there you go. <laughs> Somebody talked that bang in the hole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow, what a shot! What was that? <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> I've heard of body language, but I've never really heard of language. Yeah, language. I mean, everybody in here was calling go, go, go. Oh, man. So we have uh, basically tied for fifth. Yeah. All the juniors that were here. How mm -hmm. about that? That's Spencer, cool. Garner, Michael Cruz, Lane, Sebastian Barger, and Isaac Hurd. How about that? Yeah. That's great Isn't that stuff. Neat? That's great stuff. That's what you got to look forward to playing. Mm -hmm. Good luck. When you're to on you. the circuit, and then throw in Caleb Rogers and Riley oh. Brewster. Wow, what a junior's division. Oh, and you still got Caitlin Ham in there, and you still got Maddie McBride Absolutely. in there. I mean, this is game three, Doug. It's one game apiece. I threw that in because he's from Mississippi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just tuning in is this game one. <laughs> Oh, God. Sorry, Doug. I Never mind. Resist. I see now. He, he did what my mom always said I did. She goes, if you'd look with your eyes instead of your mouth, you'd find a lot more stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, man. This is crazy. We they have either, fun. Now. We do have fun. Uh, they either own, own the middle or they just pile Absolutely. them up. Absolutely. It's crazy. It's one or the other. And we got a pile of mess up there. Oh, and Caleb, that low – Fast side bag that yeah. he throws is so effective. A little bit of a landmine blew everything up there. Oh, oh and Gary. Hey, look, the airmail could drag right here. Is he going to go for it? Let's see. He's got the pinch. Oh, 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 oh wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Gary says, oh, oh and I'm just going to go ahead and take that. What a shot by wow. Caleb Hurt. That's all you can do. Oh, yeah, I mean, even I think yeah. even Gary said, wow. All you can do yeah. is throw that scuba bag, and that's going to put Caleb back up on top. The 12 to 10 advantage, I'll tell you something. This is this game is not disappointing. This match is not disappointing. They this were game. sitting there feeling for the mm. taking, and he took them. And he took them. Yes, he did. Well, we are very close. Our man Thor is on the, on the case here. We are very close to crowning our first ever yeah. Corny 40 champion here. Well, I say very close, maybe 90 minutes yeah. until they finish this game. <laughs> <laughs> a, I hope my refreshments will last that long. Oh, you know what I love too is he's totally in the spirit of the game. Mm -hmm. I've seen, I've never seen anybody just crush a bag of sunflower seeds like he is. Usually, I thought I did, but I can't do it now. I want to. I'm jealous. <laughs> but he is just crushing the sunflower seeds. Yeah. That's good stuff right there. Good stuff. <laughs> he's myself. got a whole cup full oh, of seeds no, there, man. It's, it's irritating to no end because I'm jealous. <laughs> Heinerman and I were killing him on the way over to Dyersville, mm -hmm. and now I'm watching him. I've got some dill pickle flavor right behind me I can't get to. <laughs> Hard to talk with that in your mouth, though. Yeah, it is. It would make me slightly <laughs> more annoying than I am now. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible, Finn. Uh, yeah, some more uh, Caleb Hurt fans, Paul Champion. Yeah, look, the look at boom. This. Look at this. He, he he put that bag right in the middle yeah. to gather them back together so Caleb can come in and, well, yeah, yeah create that. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Yeah, 
Here comes another airmail. You think he's an airmail drag this one? Uh, he's, yeah, he's going to come in and just kind of no. lay it. He just took what, was, what okay. was given there. I'm surprised. I thought maybe with the lead he might yeah. be a little more adventuresome there, but no, it's all right. It's We're all going right. to the game of nine. There it is. Game of 12 nine. 12 on 12. And what more could you ask for for a championship game? We're in game three. Well, and, and think, about, think about this. 12 Think about this. Two years ago, that first Major League Baseball game, it's the Yankees and the White Sox. Yeah. Ninth inning, bottom of the ninth, yeah. walk-off home run. That's what we're setting up for right now. Mm -hmm. We are setting up for a bottom of the ninth. Absolutely. Home run ball to walk it off. We just had a home run ball to yeah, take we, the lead. Yeah, we did. We did. There were nine home runs launched in that game. Yeah. In the Reds-Cubs game, you know how many there were? None. None. <laughs> Thank you. They don't have any power on those teams. <laughs> Not a one. Not even a – Me being a Cub fan. Too. Not even in this band box of a – of a park, which is great. The it's a wind, hitter's park. Yeah, the wind blows straight out over there in left field mm -hmm. for sure. Well, I know in here the wind is blowing straight out of the announcer's table. So, about uh, Philly joining us uh, in here. Right on. Lynn Barnett, that name sounds awful familiar. Mm -hmm. Joining us in here. The final game. This is it. Audie, we miss you, buddy. Yeah. We would love to see you out here. Your big smiling face out here. Love to see you run the bases, bud. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd like to see that, too. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Gary just takes that middle that he knows so well. You got it, buddy. Don Bailey tuning back in. My man, Don Bailey. The legend. Yes. All right, so, he's going to force Gary to kind of get that get around, and he does. Hey, Gary's got that shot in he his does. In He his, really does. His arsenal. Oh, that's nicely nice. done. Oh, nice. <laughs> Look at that bag. It's, just, it's like creeping. It's like it's, sneaking it's, up it's on It's going the down right here. It is. I haven't even looked at the player. There Whoop. it is. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even is. looking at them. I was just watching that bag. It's like creep, 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 yep. creep, creep. There it was. <laughs> 12 to 12 in the final game. Oh, boy. The Corny 40 Classic at Dyersville Hour, the Field of Dreams. It doesn't get much better than that. Oh yeah, well it's it's interesting. This is this is your first experience in watching this. This this poor woman between her husband, <laughs> both her sons and her daughter. She's not even looking at yeah. the throw. <laughs> earlier we caught her watching the little league game out the window. She couldn't even look. Oh, well, her goodness. husband's ran up against a bus all in game here, Paul. Yeah. And neither one of these guys are, are are trying to give this game up, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Yep. It's gonna come down to a mistake or somebody yeah. trying not to lose. Oh, nice. Boy, that's a good shot right there. Yes. That but was Gary's a nice. got a, Gary's got enough left to go get that if he can. He's just pushing play. He's got oh he's got nothing left. Okay. Oh. That's Caleb gonna help. There him. it is. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's gonna get off that the first off one. that dozen and take the two. Philly Rainier saying she misses her ACO family. We miss you too, Philly. Is that Philly? Yeah. Is that Kay? That's Philly. So, Caleb takes the 14 to 12 lead. You think that upset Mr. Bear Paul? Not, Not at least. all. Didn't nope. even phase him. Mm -mm. You know, we talk about this all the time so often. I mean, every player will tell you, you know, the way to win is put more in the hole mm -hmm. than the other guy. But so often that keeping the other guy or gal out yeah, of the hole absolutely. is the key. And that's when you start to play defense. But ultimately, it all comes down to the same thing. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and put a C with a circle around this phrase right now. Control the hole. Absolutely. That's it. Control absolutely. that middle of the board. Everybody says it. If you can get it in the middle of the board, whether it's all the way up and in or just the perfect block, you will win. Yeah. And we saw we saw little brother blocking uh, uh, Caleb Hurt earlier. Isaac was throwing blockers, and it, it was very effective too. You know, it's interesting too yeah. because we talk about the young guys and gals that are throwing this roll shot. But mm -hmm. the, the the other thing that I'm seeing a lot of them do is throw that low block, yeah, and then having enough oomph, enough yeah. behind it to push it up and, and and collect them all. We saw we saw Riley Brewster do oh. do a two bag push that he had blocked number up of times, yeah. number of times, and we saw Isaac Absolutely. try that today to his own detriment a couple of times. Oh, so that was, was very nice. Nice gathering yeah. right there. Um, he did that to his own detriment a couple of times today mm -hmm. and shot him straight off the back. But I felt like he was 
practicing oh, some oh, shots. What a, what a shot that is. He just makes that look so easy. Yeah. There oh, we go, there Mr. Bear Paul. That's the one right there. Nice. Caleb says, that was very nicely done. I'll put your score up That's for right. you, sir. That's uh, game two, <laughs> seven all of a sudden. Here it is. A couple of Pete Roses posted yeah, right absolutely. now. Absolutely. Fourteens. Put that man in the Hall of Fame, please. Just one time for me. Oh, no. I guarantee, you know you know the day that uh, Pete Rose goes into the Hall when of Fame? Dies. Uh, day after there he dies. Go, buddy. That's when that happens. I'll tell you what, there's just enough left for that to happen, just spite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now oh, he's crushed it. He crushed the bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Caleb's left one up yeah. and out of play on the left side. Now he's just going to try to be a nuisance. Yep. Gary says, "All right." <laughs> it doesn't bring, bother Gary. Now I'll bring right. him that my mop and clean that up. Yeah, that push he's got down pretty solid. There he is, four bags in, and mm, takes the two point take lead. A, take another couple right yeah. there. And what more could you ask for that's going to come down to the oh, to the final? Poor Becky. I guarantee this game's going to finish at 21 to 20. Uh, it might be 21, yeah. 20 and a half. It could be. Well, I will say this. Thank you so much again to uh, Hampton Farms for taking care of the people on that side of the room with the peanuts. Thanks to Miller Light for taking care of the people on this side, this of, the side of the room with yeah. the refreshments. Thanks to Finn and Kia for making sure we've got escape vehicles if we need them to get yeah. out of here for something we said. and uh, <laughs> For Jinx and somebody. <laughs> yeah, you might Yeah, you might need to hotwire oh. one of those and get out of here. And this game is fixed to be tied, right? Oh. Back up. I can see it. What's he going to do? What's he going to do is lay it up? Oh, no, no sir. Clean it up. Oh, it's the hardest shot in cornhole. Man, 16 to 16, <laughs> a game to five. <laughs> I think I'm going to suggest perhaps to our uh, sponsorship department that uh, we pursue a catheter company. Yeah. <laughs> I, will, I will second you, that you most. <laughs> <laughs> Especially right now. Uh, I'll tell you, you know what? Yeah, if anybody's listening. <laughs> uh, uh, wow. wow. This, is, this is, I mean, this is it's like watching a chess match. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, and there and might be the mistake. But you know what? You know what? He hasn't really look shot. Gary. Caleb hasn't really shot look Airmail in quite some time. Yeah, look at Gary. Gary He's going to make him do it again. I'm going to make him do it again. do it again. Oh, oh, oh there, there it is. is. Right. Now here comes one from Gary. Yep, he's going to come up. Oh, and he moved Caleb's back. He can yeah, pull it. Did. Yep, there it is. Oh, oh, oh and almost <laughs> enough. Back. Almost enough. This is a big shot. Boy, he, can't, he cannot. Oh, oh, and it's going to be the oh game. Oh, my God. Did he really? And it ended that on a five spot. A five wow. spot gets it done. And Caleb Hurt, just as he did in Jeffersonville, Ohio, in the Pro Invitational, takes wow. home the big check. He takes home the championship of the first ever, the inaugural Corny 40 Classic. Gary Bear Paul fought and wow. fought and fought. And these guys, they exchange handshakes. Uh, they each said, good job, good job, thank you, thank you. Now they're done talking. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you something. That was a Finn, beautiful we talk about how many bags. Nobody giving up two here, two there, two there. And it is on a block and airmails. Yes, it was. And, and you know round. what that was? That was a bottom of the ninth Absolutely. walk-off. Absolutely. That That's was what a it bottom was. of the ninth walk-off. Caleb Hurt takes the first ever Corny 40 Classic. Nicely done, bud. Well done. He gets a little hug from Adrian, and he is going to uh, celebrate tonight. He gets to bring the family back out, stay in the Kinsella experience, have the house to themselves. They can come out here when it's nice and quiet, and they can enjoy a really good time together. They're now already looking, calling rooms over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure Isaac Isaac is going to get uh, Karen's room. Hey, Caleb, you want to? Caleb. Hey, Caleb, come on, come on. Oh, this is this is gonna be fun. All right, bud. So here's here's the deal. <laughs> here, let's stand up. I need to stretch. Let's stand up here in the corn. Since we got well, since we brought yeah. in all this corn and we decided to do it out in the field, let's go ahead and do it back here. Um, that was, and we we talked about this just like the inaugural game with Major League Baseball out here with the White Sox and the yeah. Yankees. 
It came down to a bottom of the ninth walk-off home run. <laughs> that's exactly what you just did right there. Yeah. I mean, Phillip summed it up. He goes, he goes, no, no, if he does this, that's a five spot. That's it, that's it, that's it. It was, it was a walk-off. You did it. Nicely yeah. done. Yeah. That was that was a battle. That, was, that was definitely that was a battle. Yeah. It was. So, uh, all the way through here, I mean, you had to take out Isaac. You had to take yeah. out your own brother to get here. And, I mean, so many matches. Now, I would say you more than anybody got to play here in center court, on center court in the barn. You yeah. didn't have to contend with the weather and yeah. the wind as, as much as others yeah. did. Gary fought his way through and got here with you. Do you think that played an advantage, you not having to play outside? Uh, a little bit, but – I don't know. I mean, I, I'm used to kind of the. If you had your choice, would you rather play in the wind oh, or I'd play in play here? here? There well, you go. And I would say probably at home you're used to playing in the barn as well. So yeah. this was like a little bit of a homecoming. Yeah. It, it was a little bit of a home field advantage, I think, for you as well. But uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, we're, you know, we've had this conversation now in Jeffersonville. We've had it here. It, it's just it just feels like it's your time. Do you feel that? I mean, Isaac's coming at you. He's coming. He's. I think he's like, okay, which one of us? We're both going to wear the crown yeah. one day, but who's going to get it first? Do you uh, ever have that? Do you ever beat him up and, and tell him no, it's going to be me, or what? Or is he? No, nah, he oh, he talks a lot. Of, he talks a lot of crap to me. Definitely. <laughs> he was talking even when oh, you were playing. Yeah. He was over yeah. posing for selfies and stuff. <laughs> he, you know, he was yeah. having a good time. Yeah, he he, he he threw good today. He, he really did. He taken. I I thought, in my opinion, I mean, I give him chances. He he could have beat me. Honestly, I, I, I agree with that. But. It is what it is. <laughs> All right. Well, so you're happy you got the victory. Yeah. Right? Now, as part of the deal, we're going to put you guys back out. Of, what a family reunion this would be back here. Stay here in the house. You have the opportunity to come out here and stay in the house. You already called yeah. your room? Did you already call uh, room? No. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the deal. Put Isaac in Karen's room because yeah. that's where I stayed when we came out here, and they called me Karen the rest of the time I was here. <laughs> so you put him in that room, but you guys come out here and make the most of that night. And now what you've got now is a $25,000 guaranteed purse that I believe the two of you are partnered up yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, Isaac. Yeah. All right. Well, there's a very good chance you might as well just take those headphones yeah. home and leave them on you <laughs> while you sleep. I hope so. Yeah, we shall see our doubles champions for season 17. Mm -hmm. You and Isaac, Caleb Hurt, how about that? Our inaugural Corny 40 yeah. Classic champion, the first of God knows how many years. But here in the corn, bud, take it. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I, sm I smelled enough of that today when we were taking pictures. Did you? <laughs> I That's was right. at the back of the line. Yeah, you also <laughs> caught one in the eyeball, yeah. I do believe. So we've got some good stuff. Congratulations. Yeah, well thank done. You. Our man. first good ever Corny 40, 40 Classic champion and the inaugural Go the Distance Festival here. And tomorrow we get into the Dream Team Invitational. My man, the Mississippi Absolutely. Ninja, Philip Barnett, Caleb Hurt, our champion. I am Finn, <laughs> the loudmouth for the ACO. I don't even know what camera to look at. All I'm going to say is we're going to be back tomorrow with all the doubles action right here in the barn at the Kinsella Family Farm. It is the Field of Dreams movie site. Thank you, Miller Light. Thank you, Coors Light. Thank you, Kia. Finn and Kia, thank you, Hampton Farms. And thank you for one hell of a show yeah. and a walk-off victory. All right, we're going to wrap things up. We'll be back tomorrow. More. Coming soon with the center of the corn and cornhole universe, Dyersville, Iowa, on the ACO Digital Network. <laughs> All right. Good job, man. Miller Lite has more taste and only one more calorie than Michelob Ultra. 